everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you all the skincare products I use in a day. This is my updated skincare routine for summer. The weather in London has been super hot recently, so I've had to change everything up so I've got lighter weight products during the day because my skin gets super sweaty and everything tends to move around if it's not super light. Right now I would say that my combination skin type is definitely oily and dehydrated so I'm using a combination of lightweight products that are going to keep my skin hydrated but also prevent it from getting too oily as well. And at the same time I'm not holding back on my actives, I still want my vitamin C, my exfoliate, my retinol, all of those targeted active ingredients ingredients to keep my skin looking healthy and at its best. If you are new here and you love skincare don't forget to hit the subscribe button and you can also ring the bell if you would like to be notified every time I upload a new video. So I'm going to get started with the Morning Expert Vitamin C Power Mask by This Works. I really like this multitasking product because it does so many different things and it will also provide my antioxidant protection during the day. So I just add a few pumps to this. So this contains the finest like granules in it. So it will very gently exfoliate the skin, but I mean, I'm not a fan of scrubs at all. And um, this is definitely not a scrub, but it's got the, it's got the finest particles in that it will just gently kind of just help clear out those pores and um, remove any kind of bits of dead skin on the very, very surface in the most gentle way. And then this will also just help gently remove any oils from the products left over from the night before. I like to give my face like a nice massage at this point. I just find that this helps with any puffiness and um, you know, it just really brings my face to life. And what this is, is a mask now. So I will leave this on for several minutes so that the vitamin C can absorb within my skin but then I'll rinse it off so it won't actually be left on my skin during the day. You should check out this account on Instagram called Face Gym. They offer treatments usually um, when we're not all in quarantine where you can go in and they do these like massages on your face. I haven't actually tried them. Um, I would love to but they're actually showing you how to do it yourself with tutorials on their Instagram account. Um, so you should definitely check them out. I think it's just called Face Gym. They're based in they're based in London. I don't know if they're in the US as well. But um, yeah, they've got these different techniques um, for kind of draining toxins from the face, but also um, how to like plump up the skin as well. Like one of them they were showing you is to kind of go like this for your cheek, to like sculpt your cheekbones. You can do this like several times a day. And when you've got something like this on, this is quite a um, oily mask. So it's a really good product to have on your face if you're doing some massage so you don't kind of cause any dragging or anything like that. Now in terms of oily skin, I find that oils are really good products to use on oily skin, especially in this case as I am going to go over with a very gentle cleanse which will just remove any residue. One of the main benefits I find from using an oil, whether it's a cleanser or a mask like this, is that I can feel it unclogging my pores. I can feel the stuff coming out. Make sure I bring it under my eyes. Okay, so now I've spent several minutes massaging that into my face. Now, if you haven't got time to be doing this in the morning, that is absolutely fine. You can literally just pop this on, like add a splash of water, and then um, quickly massage it in, and then go and like brush your teeth, or jump in the shower and do some multitasking so that, you know, you can kind of deliver that vitamin C into your skin whilst you're doing other things as well to save time. But obviously now that we're all in quarantine, um, I've got the time to take a little bit longer. So now I'm just gonna gently wipe this off with a washcloth, just to remove the excess. And then I'm just going to go in with this next cleanser on my T-zone, which some of you might have seen me do before. 
This is the Cosrx Salicylic Acid Daily Gentle Cleanser, which I just like to use this tiny little amount um, on my congested T zone where I tend to get oily. This doesn't need to be left on for too long. This really is quite a deep cleansing cleanser, I find. So I don't leave it on too long. It's really good to kind of massage it in if you've got any facial hair. Um, but what I'll do is I'll add some water to that. That will really emulsify it. And then I'll work it properly into my beard area. If you can call that a beard. It's not really a beard, is it? But I just added some water to my fingertips and you can see now. Uh, it kind of lathers up. All right, so now I'm gonna jump in the shower and rinse all of that off. Okay, so now my face is thoroughly cleansed and feeling really nice and fresh. I have to say, I really like this combination together. So I've basically got my vitamin C protection, which will just brighten my skin and offer that antioxidant protection throughout the day. And it will also protect the skin against pollution, which is always a good thing. And then the salicylic acid will just help unclog my pores around my nose where I get congested and just help keep my skin clear. So that's a really nice winning combination. But nothing's left on my skin and that also really helps prevent the skin from becoming irritated. Now it's time for some essence. I mentioned the Neogen Real Ferment Micro Essence in my recent video on hydrating products. I think that this is a really good option for oily skin because this is so lightweight. But I hear so many people talk about how hydrating it is. All the people that I follow on Instagram um, that have mentioned this, they say that um, they find it really, really hydrating. Now I have to say like out of all my different essences, this is hydrating, but it's not the most hydrating in that it almost feels like a moisturizer on the skin. Um, I feel like this soaks in very, very well without leaving that kind of silky residue on the top, which is perfect if you have got oily skin because you want something that is going to deliver that hydration. That part is really, really important, but you don't want something that as soon as you start sweating, it's gonna start melting and moving around and kind of becoming oily and greasy on your face. So this will give you the hydration without any of that heaviness. Now my under eye area and the tops of my cheeks are the only areas that really get dehydrated on my skin. So I do like to apply a little bit of eye cream because that just helps balance everything out. So we're keeping that, all this area super lightweight with the product, but then just working with a little bit of eye cream on these areas here um, works wonders. And that's just gone into the skin really, really nicely. I have to say, I love this eye cream because it's got different benefits. It's got antioxidants. It's got, um, they use blueberry for the antioxidants, blueberry extract. It's also got avocado oil in it. So it's, so it's gently moisturizing. It's also got a peptide in, which will help with fine lines and wrinkles as a preventative. And then it's also got hyaluronic acid in, which is a humectant. And then that will just help keep that hydration and moisture in the skin. Now, just to seal that hydration into the skin, I do want to go in with a little bit of moisturizer. I really like a gel moisturizer at this time of year. So I'm gonna use the Hadalabo Skin Plumping Gel, which is, Really nice and light, but it's also deeply hydrating as well, which is really important. And you can just apply like a tiny bit of this and um, that will just go a long way. So again, I'm focusing on my cheeks first and then what's left on my fingertips, I'll go over my forehead. And then that's it, usually a bit on my lips as well. And I just kind of um, avoid the nose area, don't apply any of that to the nose. So that's a really thorough skincare routine in that it's given my skin all the nourishment that it needs, all those active ingredients that are gonna nourish and protect and look after the skin without anything that's gonna weigh it down, which is absolutely perfect, that's exactly what you want. So you're still getting all of that goodness, but without any of the heaviness. So to finish off, we're going to go in with some sunscreen. That is important all year round, but obviously in the summer, 
it is particularly essential. Now the Biore UV watery essence I've spoken about before and I've said that I don't love it that much because I feel like it's got a lot of alcohol in but if you use enough hydrating ingredients then I wouldn't worry too much about the alcohol in this. If you are going to be really, really hot and really, really sweaty, then this is actually a good option because I have to say, when it's super, super hot and sunny outside, I find when I use this, it's actually really good and it sits really, really well on the skin. Otherwise, my personal favorite at the moment is the Comfy Water Sunblock SPF 50 by Purito. But I think today I'm gonna to go in with the Biore UV. So I'm just gonna apply my initial layer of this on camera and then I'll apply it in a more detailed way off camera when I can look in front of the mirror. I actually did a mini review on this on my Instagram. So now what I'm doing on Instagram is I am doing um, IGTVs with really like short reviews, literally like two minutes where I'll quickly try on a product or talk about it. Um, but in a very, very quick way. So if you want to see content like that, then you can just follow me. It's also James Just Now, like it is here on YouTube. And in addition as well, I also show a little bit of work that I do as a hair colorist here in London as well. So that's it for the daytime routine. I will be back later to do the evening one. So I'm gonna take everything off with an oil cleanse using this cleanser from Purito called From Green Cleansing Oil. I mean, there's all sorts of cleansers that you could use. Um, I like an oil cleanser or a cream cleanser or a gel cleanser just because um, it needs to take my SPF off. But I haven't been wearing like anything too heavy. Obviously the sunscreen that I used today was on the lighter side, so um, it's not super difficult to remove, but this will definitely remove it thoroughly with a single cleanse. I won't need to go in with um, a second cleanse as well, but I think that gel cleansers are definitely also a good option for oily skin because they tend to be a little bit lighter. But as I said earlier, I do like oils with oily skin um, because I think that they work quite well as long as you choose the right one. Again, I'm just gonna spend a couple of minutes just really massaging my face. I'm really into facial massage at the moment. Now we're in quarantine, we're not, I don't know, life's just different at the moment, not running around so much. So I just try to spend a little bit of time just looking after myself. So. Facial massage is a really nice way just to finish the day and pamper myself a little bit. I'm gonna remove that with the same washcloth as I used this morning. I try to um, just let the washcloth, you know, I use it twice in the morning and then in the evening and then I put it in the wash. In the evening, I do like it to be more of a nourishing routine at this time of year. So I like to keep it super light during the day, but in the evening is where I really kind of go with the nourishing, slightly richer ingredients and products. Because during the night, that's when the skin regenerates itself, that's when it heals and replenishes itself. So I really want to use those products that are really gonna nourish and heal my skin. So I'm gonna start with a layer of the Neogen Essence that I used earlier, just to get everything prepped. And also the niacinamide in this will work very nicely um, with the retinol that's gonna go on afterwards. Niacinamide and retinol work really nicely together. Obviously, I used a vitamin C product this morning and then niacinamide afterwards, but it was like a vitamin C mask um, and not L-ascorbic acid. So I feel like that is okay. Next step is a little bit of eye cream. I really like this ginseng eye cream from I'm From. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of that first just to protect my under eye area because the retinol I'm using next is quite strong. So just by putting 
some eye cream around here it just kind of creates a buffer before I go in with that retinol because there will be some retinol around the eye area um, because I like it that's the area that I want to have the benefits of retinol because you know it's under here where the fine lines start to show so I want this skin to be as good as it possibly can but it's obviously more delicate around the eyes so um just applying this just prevents any irritation. So retinol of choice is a Drunk Elephant A Passione, which I have been using for ages, and it doesn't seem to be running out anytime soon, which is brilliant. And I'm going to mix it with a little bit of the Votary Feed Your Skin Face Cream, which is kind of slightly on the, the richer side, but at night I have no problems with that. So I've I only recently started actually buffering this. I know a lot of people um, were buffering it just to make sure that it wasn't so strong and I preferred just to use it pure on my skin and just use it only like a couple of times a week. But I find that it does actually buffer really well and I realise why a lot of people like to do that so much. So I just add literally this much to my hand and then mix it with some cream and it really does work very very well like that so kind of this much cream and then I just make a little cocktail on my hand I have to say this retinol does work very well at um, keeping my skin clear. So it's really good at unclogging pores. It is very good at keeping any breakouts at bay. And retinol does tend to make my skin a little bit more dehydrated, which um, is probably quite a good thing right now because I can top up those hydration levels during the day, but just because my skin tends to get a little bit sweaty, I almost feel like the retinol rebalances it a little bit. So that's it. Now just for the final step, I like to use a little bit of face oil. I've got this Votary one here, and I've also got the African Botanics Neroli Oil. Being that it's Neroli Oil, I'm not going to put any of that over my nose um, where it can get congested. So I'm just going to literally add three drops and add that on my cheeks and my forehead and leave it at that. I love this oil. I am quite keen to try the version from The Ordinary and just compare them. Obviously you've got the Drunk Elephant Marula Oil as well, which is a very famous one. So I'll be interested just to compare them because obviously the ordinary one is a cold pressed, I think it might even be organic, I'm not sure, but it's a cold pressed um, Marula Oil. That's a cold pressed Marula Oil. So I don't see how it can be massively different. So I'll be interested to compare them and see how they are because obviously the prices are so different. So that's it, a full day of summer skincare using products that work particularly well when it's very, very hot outside and it gets sweaty and sticky. You will have seen that I focus on the lightest products during the day and then use richer, more nourishing products in the evening when I'm sleeping and my skin is regenerating itself. I hope that you found this video useful and fun to watch. If you've got anything that you would like to see in the future, please let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one.